This week we're going to talk about tape in the stick. And when your kid is practicing and playing games, you got to reevaluate their stick every few practices. So as you can see on this stick here, it starts to get discolored, nicked up. It's time to change their tape. So make sure you're reevaluating your kid's stick every few practices and just make sure that their tape is ready to go. As we start talking about taping our stick, let's talk about the type of tape that we're going to use. Squirts and above, you can use black and white cloth tape. Mites and below, you can use colored tape, no skulls or anything crazy like that. But let's get into how we tape our stick. So the first thing we need to do before we tape our stick is make sure that the old tape job is off. So we never ever want to tape over old tape. So as you can see on this stick here, the old tape is off and also you have to prep the blade of the stick properly so that you have a really clean tape job on, your, on the blade of your stick for the new tape job. So what we did here is you just take all the old tape off and you always have to go over the edges on the top and the bottom of the blade and make sure that there's no sticky elements or little globs of the old tape job on there. And also on the face of the front and back of the blade, you gotta make sure that everything's off and it's completely clean, almost like you buy it new from the store. So remember, you never want to tape over old tape. So as we begin our tape job, well, one thing we always like to do is make sure that the new tape always has a clean edge. So if it doesn't, always make sure that you're ripping off and you have a clean edge on the new tape and throw it in the garbage can. Bam, nailed it. Okay, so you start on the uh, heel or your stick with the new tape job. So you take the tape, start on the forehand of the stick on the heel of the blade. So we're right here on the heel of the blade, as you can see. And you just kind of wrap it around the back side and you make sure it's down real tight. And all you got to do is just roll it around. You kind of take it at an angle like this. And I've been doing this many years, so it's easy. But you just kind of wrap it around and overlap each strand that you go. You want to overlap about a half to a quarter inch. And you just keep going right down the, uh, the blade of the stick until you're to the toe. One thing you can do is the goal here is for your, for your player, your child, to be able to do this. So teach them how to do it, and they can practice this at home. You can grab a roll of tape and just have them practice. That's how you get better at it. And it's kind of fun for the kids to get their tape ready. You know, NHL players, they do this every single game to like three or four of their sticks. Every single game. So they all have a routine, and your child will get a routine as they do this too. And it's kind of fun, and it kind of helps them prepare for games and and whatnot. Now, okay, this is a great example right here. You see the tape sometimes starts um, starts ripping out on you. So you always got to make sure that that comes off. That'll happen. It's tape. So you just got to make sure that's off and make sure that the tape has a real clean edge as you continue down the tape job. Sometimes you need to stop halfway through or whatever, whatever portion down the way. So you go right to the end of the tip of the blade and end it either on the forehand or backhand, wherever you're at, and cut it off right there. The next thing you do is you just want to make sure that everything's down tight so you run your fingers over it. And if you see any other unclean edges, if there's tape strands out there, just peel them back, peel them off, get the tape down and you're ready to go. Okay, we're gonna go over another little fun thing that you can do with the tape job that's a little alteration. Uh, but before we get into that, one reason that you go to the toe and you end on the top is because the blade of the stick is always on the ice and if you end on the bottom of the stick, it's gonna tear up because the blade of the stick is always on the ice. So when you're ending your tape job, always end it on the top portion of the stick. So going into what we can do here, another little fun thing to do is to take the tape and cover the whole toe of the blade of the stick completely with tape. So what you do is you kind of take a piece of tape here and you just cover the front portion here and go to the back side, which is your backhand. And do the same thing. You tear it off so that you kind of have some overlap there, but you're covering the very toe of the blade of the stick on the forehand side, the front side, and the backhand side, which is the back side of the stick, of the curve of the stick. And you, um, you just kind of punch those together so that it's rounded around the toe of the stick. And you grab a scissors and you cut right around the toe of the stick like this and you got a really, come, comes across as a really, really neat tape job, and it's kind of cool. But again, it's all personal preference. At that point, your kids are gonna learn a lot of different things that they can do. 
little uh, little things that they can do, their tape job that they're going to like. This is one of them that's easy to do, kind of fun for the kids, and it looks sharp and it'll help them with their game. So there you go.